something. Not bad. Not bad. See where the work was done. But overall. <laughs> So a couple of the upgrades that I was considering that I'm going to do is a vertical e-track system. Now this is great because I have a horizontal one right here and it works, um, but it only works for things that are that height. This one will allow me to basically, you know, put these e-tracks at any point and strap anything of any height, uh, make it a little easier to strap things into to the wall. So I'm going to take this out. Take this horizontal e-track out and I'm going to put a few of these along the wall and possibly in the front. Now another thing that I've been wanting to do, haven't found a good economic solution, is a tire rack. And I got one of these from Amazon, this high loft tire rack. It's meant for the garage, but figured that it would work. I can make it work for the, for the trailer. I'm going to take those, those little shelves off and and see if I could get this on there. First step I'm gonna need to do is take that spare wheel right there off. Now this spare tire hole for e-tracks works really well if you just have one tire that you wanna put on the wall. But it's a little annoying because you put the, the main you know hole here and then you put this through one of the, the stud holes, put the washer on. This thing is long. So what that means is that it's been a lot of time trying to take this wing net off. Well with a new tire rack that I'm putting out there, should be able to fit that uh the trail tire up there too. And you take those uh those brackets shelves off. save all this because I could put it else, elsewhere on the trailer. So one of the main issues that I might be running into, okay so basically this is the front of my trailer. The tire rack that I have that I bought, you need to kind of install it on a, on a stud it says. There is a piece of metal here where these screws that are painted over, I just don't know if it's, I don't know if it's like, like a actual stud. If it is, it's great because then I can use this um, to to mount it and that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome, but otherwise, I'm not really sure. I'll take a little closer look. Yeah, it looks like it's part of the metal framing of some way. Well, then that's, then that's good because then I can use it. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's, it's hot on the trailer, so I'm gonna open this out here. They make construction look pretty simple. Let's hope that it goes that way. Wow, these light bulbs. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use these. They're gonna go... They'll probably go straight through my trailer. I'm not going to use the included mounting hardware uh, as far as like these lag bolts go. I, I mean like since it's going to my trailer and be going through metal, I'm not going to need to use these. So what I need to do is measure how thick this is and so I can get something that's a little thicker than that. So that way it drills, it goes through here and then drills into the actual cross beam that's in there. It's about one and a quarter inch thick. So I need something that's maybe one and a half to one and three quarters inch. Got these uh, self-tapping screws. They should be able to drill right into the metal frame. 
Uh, this is a 14, number 14 by two inch, which works perfectly because, there you go, look at that. That should be enough to grab onto the frame and we can work from there. All right, so you know what they say. I just drop. These uh, tire things can be mounted from 32 to 48 inches. Make sure I'm not going out too far. Here's 48 inches. You know what? Maybe I'll take these screws out. Just the, the two on the end and just put the other ones in. I hope this works.
I really can't see anything else that I might need to bring or need to just put in the trailer. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And I like the vertical e tracks. They're, they make it easier to secure a few things. I can secure a lot more things as long as I want now. Alright, I'm done. Somehow, left hand drill bit that one strip screw out. Nope. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that may just make things worse.